games. I think mm-hmm. two of the final four games for both teams yeah. are against each other. And I think because of the Warriors keep uh, winning ways, they're going to have home field and home court advantage. And if they already have the home court advantage sewed up, there's no real purpose in in the Warriors or in the Spurs, you know, really putting forth an effort that could possibly get themselves hurt or could give away any type of advantage, any type of adjustment that they might have, uh, like Greg Popovich or Kerr might have up their sleeves. So it's 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 it definitely gave life to the rest of the season that the Spurs won, but the fact that they lost tonight. And the Warriors won tonight. It's almost as if th- that game didn't happen. The only way, only way that that hurt, uh, that helped, is that now the w- Spurs know how to slow down Steph Curry, how to slow down um, Clay Thompson, really get physical. And I think a lot of older, the older players, you know, were, were very happy, like Isaiah Thomas's and um, the other, uh, what was he, the the uh, Oscar, Oscar Robinson. Robinson, yeah. Argar saying, I told you, that's what you have to, that's how old school basketball was playing, was played. And that's why, and they, you know, they gave him like a real point of view of, uh, that, that makes sense now because of the fact that they, uh, because of the way, the way that they, how poorly they performed under the, the pressure that, um, that the, the Spurs put on them this last, this past weekend. It's it's great. I mean, look, that, that to me is the real storyline in basketball right now, Spurs or, or Warriors, and to have the Spurs be able to come back after that 30-point loss you know, a month ago, they're in the same league. The question is, can they get a road win because it looks like they're going to have